Hi, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to the Cal Poly Admissions Live. We're going to be talking all things uh, admitted students, next steps for our incoming Mustangs and um, Mustangs that have recently applied to Cal Poly and been admitted. So I want to welcome you all that are entering our uh, our Instagram Live here for Cal Poly Admissions. Uh, and I want to especially say congratulations uh, to those of you that have heard back from Cal Poly and are accepted, conditionally admitted to Cal Poly. Congratulations. I want to be the one of the first people to say uh, your work, your hard work is paying off and congratulations on your acceptance to Cal Poly. We're going to have a number of things going on here today, folks. Uh, so we're going to talk all things admitted student experiences. We're going to talk about next steps, things that I want to make sure that you are aware of as a incoming or a newly admitted student. Um, and then if you have questions, so I already see someone's um, using the question functionality. So at the bottom of your uh, live screen, uh, there's going to be a question button on um, uh, the, the uh, and you can ask away any questions. I see also that we'll probably get some questions uh, about uh, from applicants that uh, have yet to hear back from Cal Poly. Today is the 21st of March and we are still reviewing applications. Um, lo and behold, folks, we got over 69,000 applications. That is a record breaking year for Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And I want to just say that um, that is a lot of applications for us to get through so we're doing everything in our power to make sure that we uh get your get your decisions back uh to you by our deadline and that is april 1st so we're going to make sure that we uh, notify you of your decision by april 1st and that's a guarantee from our team uh that we're going to let you know by april 1st so if you're just joining me i still see folks coming on in to our instagram live uh, a couple different things um some of you have heard back from cal poly we're going to talk about next steps uh, and experiences for admitted students if you've had yet to hear back from Cal Poly. Uh, we're still rolling out decisions, still letting students know of their application status and even, um, and we start to let students know, but I can guarantee you that we'll notify you of uh, by your decision or of your decision on April 1st. And that's a guarantee from our team. So that's going to be next week that we'll make sure that everybody hears back from Cal Poly. Uh, but um, I want to make sure that there's a couple different things that I want you to uh, utilize while we're here today. Use that, Q, that question button down below. Um, and we're going to talk um, admitted student experience. So uh, give me a give me a, a love button, give me a like button for all the from all those students that are uh, that have heard back from Cal Poly. Give some Cal Poly love out there. I want to uh, hear from you all, uh, and I'm really excited um, that uh, you all are here with me today. My name is Aaron Borgeson. I'm an admissions officer here. My pronouns are he him. Uh, we're talking all things uh, in, for admitted students. So uh, keep those questions coming. But up first, I want to talk about some really important things. So. We've selected uh, students and we've started to let students know of their decisions. And so there's a couple of things that I want you all to keep in mind. Where do I see that information? Up to minute status of your application, next steps, money, information about housing, academics, orientation, um, uh, how, um, uh, financial aid information. It's all going to come out to you on your My Cal Poly portal or your Cal Poly portal. So the money matters tab is where all information about financial aid is. We're going to talk about orientation information. I'm going to talk to you about some dates uh, for orientation coming up. And we're going to talk about uh, things that you need to know. So if you've been accepted to Cal Poly, uh, this time is for you. I'm going to take your questions in just a couple minutes. But I want to make sure that we know about a couple things. Your Cal Poly portal. So there's also on that Cal Poly portal. So we've already talked about orientation. That's where you're going to see orientation information. So we have two parts for let's actually just go right down the list. Let's talk about orientation first. We got two parts orientation. And so you're going to be required to join us as, as a first year student or as a transfer student for slow days. That's going to be starting in July, a lot of July sessions and June sessions. Uh, sorry, July and August sessions. And then there's even some sessions in September. Uh, so we're going to uh, have slow day sessions in the summertime. We're also going to have week of welcome. Uh, for a lot of students, our incoming students from high school, slow days is a two-day program. For transfers, it's going to be a one-day program in the month of August. So make sure that you're aware of that. Uh, some really important information coming to you. And then uh, week of welcome, which is, or wow, for short, is right before the start of school. So we're roughly, we're thinking tentatively that September 13th and September 14th is going to be, be moving here at Cal Poly. So 
first day of school is September 19th. But before we get there, uh, we've, uh, let's talk about financial aid. So if you have applied to Cal Poly and um, uh, been accepted to Cal Poly, we're going to let students know of their financial aid package uh, on the Money Matters tab. So the Money Matters tab is where you're going to see all things financial aid. In fact, you're going to click View My Financial Aid Package. And that's where you're going to see information about your financial aid package. What is the financial aid package based off? So one thing that's not required or not recommended, or we don't even have the functionality at this point for a cal for an application for financial aid. We're just making your financial aid package based off the information that you place on the website and your free application for federal student aid or your California Dream Act application. So those are the documents that we're using to create need-based financial aid packages. For merit-based aid, we're using your application to Cal Poly and utilizing the information that you place in the Cal Poly application to create a merit-based financial aid package. So that's all going to be on the tab on your Cal Poly portal, and that portal is with your username and password. Do I know your password? Heck no. That's going to be all you. So you got to know your own password. Your username is going to be on your emails, and also that's going to be what we generated and gave to you one when you um when you apply if you need any help with getting into your account call our admissions office we're currently closed i'm still here holding down the fort talking to you on instagram uh, but make sure you uh, let us uh, give us a call on um between the hours of 12 and 5 p.m uh or shoot us an email we'll be happy to help you out with your accounts so we've talked to orientation we talked financial aid house all right university housing is such a great opportunity here at cal poly our incoming first years are going to uh, live on campus and we're going to require our incoming first years to live on campus during their first year of study so that's students coming from high school coming to cal poly for your first year of study we're going to require you to live on campus okay so we have a number of different housing opportunities on campus we have all all of our different learning communities are called residential learning communities or rlc's Residential learning communities are a great opportunity for you to live on campus, create relationships with folks from across different disciplines and experiences. So we're going to have learning opportunities or residential learning opportunities in four different areas. The first experience is going to be based off your college. So maybe if you've applied to the College of Engineering, uh, that's going to be where uh, maybe you have an interest or a passion in the Orphola College of Business and you want to live with other students in the same college as you. So that's an opportunity for uh, students to live with other students from their like-minded in terms of the same interests uh, or college. The second is uh, interest-based, and so uh, maybe or um, a program-based. Excuse me, program-based could be something from like I'm an EOP scholar, so educational opportunity program scholar, or maybe I'm uh, in the honors program. And so that's going to be uh, that's going to be the opportunity for you to live in experiences based off of your program. So honors or EOP or trio, so many different opportunities to live within with other students in the same program as you. We also have an housing opportunities for identity based. Maybe I'm an ally or identify in the pride or LGBTQIA community, and so I want to live with other students that identify in the same community as me. Let's say I'm Latinx students, or uh, I want to uh, live with other Black scholars here at Cal Poly. So, so many different other learning communities all within the same uh, identity-based experiences. And then last but not least, interest-based. Let's say I want to live with other students that are uh, all passionate about, say, leadership. Those are going to be experiences for our students in housing. So again, to recap, we're talking all about the Cal Poly portal where accepted students and admitted students can see up to minute status of their application. And then also, if you've been accepted, you're going to see that change over and see additional information about housing, additional information about um, academics, orientation, financial aid. And I see a number of you asking me questions about when am I going to hear back? Um, we've already started to let students know, but if you haven't heard back from Cal Poly, it's okay. We're still evaluating our applications. Uh, we had 69,000 students apply to Cal Poly for our first year experiences and transfers experiences. So we're coming out with, uh, to you with more information about those uh, with your admissions deadlines. And again, we promise that we will let you know by or on April 1st. And so that's going to be a guarantee from us. Um, but, and if it still says no determination, we're still evaluating your application. So I see a number of good questions that are coming out to me right now. Um, let's, well, let's take a good question here. Um, what can you stay in at the dorms during slow days? And wow, that's a great question. Um, so the answer, the short answer is it 
depends. For most of our students, um, in terms of our students coming from high school, slow days, you're going to have a um, one night experience on campus. So slow days, again, July and August are the main academic or the main slow day sessions. Those are opportunities for you to live on campus uh, with other students that are there for the same session as you. Our transfer students, you're not going to live on campus. Uh, at least, excuse me, you're not going to be required to uh, stay that overnight experience part of slow days. And it's wow, you're definitely going to be on campus because you're going to have moved in September 13th or 14th. Those are our tentative dates for move in. School's going to start September 19th, and you're definitely going to move into your residential learning community. So we talked about residential learning communities. We're going to use your uh, the residential learning communities you list as an interest, and then we're going to do based off supply and demand. We're going to then say, okay, uh, students from the College of Agriculture, Food and Animal Sciences, you're going to be in Sierra Madre, and then during the summertime, you get to pick your room, which is pretty cool. So you're going to hear back in like June or July that opportunity to select your room, and so you're definitely going to know where uh, your housing, uh, where you're living during WOW. So that's a great question. I'll just dismiss that one. Um, uh, and again, acceptance rates, what are acceptance rates for this uh, year? That's a great question. We're still evaluating applications, still going through all of our applications. So we don't really know uh, how many students will end up accepting uh, to get our incoming class of about 5,000 students and change. So that's going to be our first years and, and transfer students. Uh, and so that's going to be, uh, we're still going through all of those uh, decisions and uh, we don't know what our acceptance rate is going to be yet. But I know that if you've uh, if applied to Cal Poly and uh, been accepted, conditionally admitted, I know you're a smart cookie. And as we have so many uh, applications this year, we got 69,000 applications. So, all right, let's go through some other questions before I move on some other things I want you all to know about. All right, keep those questions coming. Um, oh, I'm going to this one. This one's a good one. All right, so next question that we got was, is it hard to change majors? That is our most frequently asked question here at Cal Poly, folks. So um, if you're just joining me now before I jump in, it's 614 here in, um, on campus. This is the beautiful Welcome Center. This is where uh, the, everything from tours to if you have any questions while you're visiting Cal Poly, this is where everything starts. And so uh, this is the, the Welcome Center behind me. And there's some, some, even some uh, fun facts. Today was a beautiful 70 degrees day here in San Luis Obispo. I'd love for you to come on campus and take a tour. Uh, but and, and I should also mention, again, my name for some of you uh, that have already applied uh, or that, that, have already, that uh, are just now joining us on this Instagram live. My name is Aaron Borgeson. I'm an admissions officer here. My pronouns are he, him. And I am a two-time graduate of Cal Poly. Like you all, I came to Cal Poly uh, for my undergrad in political science. And I get to host you all here today on Instagram live. Um, so let's Let's, add, let's take this next question. Is it hard to change your majors at Cal Poly? Great question. So every person that applies to Cal Poly, one of the first things they're going to do when they start their application is select their major. And competition is major specific. So when I apply to Cal Poly, I chose the major of political science. And that's what I ended up graduating with. And guess what? Competition is major specific. So whatever major that you apply to, competition is going to be major specific. You're only going to compete against other students that declare the same major as you. I applied in nutrition. I'm only going to compete against other students that apply the same major as me. If I apply to civil engineering, I'm only going to compete against other students that declare the same major as me. Competition is major specific. So how hard is it to change your majors? Because every student coming in at Cal Poly has got a major. So switching your majors uh, is a great question. Um, so what happens is you're going to finish one quarter of classes here at Cal Poly. We're on the quarter system. Haven't mentioned that yet. We're going to select, uh, you're going to start September 19th and finish that first year, that first quarter of Cal Poly. And then at that point in time, after one quarter of classes, you're eligible to change your major. About 30% of our students do change your major, switching within the same college or discipline. So switching um, oftentimes from like, I don't know, civil engineering to mechanical engineering, or maybe psychology to sociology. Sometimes our students find that a little bit easier uh, just because some of the classes might be similar. But guess what? You can switch your major from any discipline. So I could switch from biochemistry to business or economics. 
what's expected of me. I gotta take, I gotta take classes towards that new major. We gotta do well in those. We gotta make sure that there's space available in that new major. And we gotta make sure that you be actively competitive. So there's a couple of different things that we look at when it comes time for us to evaluate um, all things change of major. Okay. Uh, the last but not least, we're not going to stick you out on a desert island and say, good luck with the process. We got so many different academic services and so many academic advisors to really help you out. Uh, I just got a great question here. Is food at Cal Poly good? My goodness. I got, I got a great answer for you. So I wish you were with me here. Maybe we can do this. Let's do this together. So through, uh, we're not going to be able to see that together, but over my shoulder is over that direction is our beautiful Vista Grande complex. So our dining complex Vista Grande is an amazing spot. So that's where most of our first years are going to dine. We have 27 different dining areas. Okay. So we got everything from two subways on campus to Jamba, to a local coffee shop. That if you, has anybody ever been to Scout? Give me some love if you've ever been to Scout because right next door to me is Scout Coffee. That's Scout Coffee. So that's an opportunity for you to grab coffee any day of the week. That's for Cal Poly students. And guess what? All of that, th these examples are on the dining plan. So you're gonna be required to have a dining plan when you're here at Cal Poly. I'm talking all things dining if you're just joining me. So you're going to be required to have a, a, dining, uh, a dining plan on campus. And so uh, we're, you're, it's like a de 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 declining balance, excuse me. So you're going to get a certain amount of money at the start of the quarter. And then you're going to have the opportunity to go to any one of our dining experiences. And you can use any, you can use your declining balance and swipe and use your poly card, which is your Cal Poly ID uh, to utilize any dining on campus. Okay, um, it, we don't really have a cafeteria style or a buffet style place, uh, but we also have food trucks. So we have everything from Jewel of India to uh, some uh, some oh, barbecue tacos on campus. Uh, we got, uh, did I mention um, our subways 24 seven? So, so many different experiences. I did get asked, do we have a Chipotle on campus? We do not have a Chipotle on campus, but we do have uh, Chipotle uh, in San Luis Obispo. So you could uh, maybe do some DoorDash or, or um, uh, let's see, whatever those, Grubhub. Oh, we do have Grubhub on campus. So that makes it really convenient. Let's say I'm on campus, finishing class, my class gets out at uh, noon, and I got to run to maybe my, um, I don't know, maybe my job on campus or something like that. Or maybe I'm driving back or walking back to my dorm room. I got. I want to maybe pick up food. I could order food right in class. Probably should be listening to my professor, but I could even order food on Grubhub and then even um, uh, grab that on the way back. So if you're now just joining me, we've selected some students, but we have yet to roll out decisions to all students. So if you haven't heard back yet, if your application is still pending, that doesn't mean that it means nothing about determination and, and our final determination of your application. We're still rolling out decisions. We're still letting students know. Um, today is the 21st of April. We're still rolling out decisions. Uh, so just hold tight. We're going to have everything out by April 1st. Uh, again, um, we let, we're going to let everybody know uh, by April 1st of their decision. So uh, this is a great question. Sammy, I love that question. That's, that's going to be my next one. I'm just going to take a quick drink of water here. So um, I want to talk a bit about Sammy's question here. Um, is Cal Poly cooperative or competitive? I love this question. So um, let's talk a little bit about the experiences for our students inside the classroom. I think we're talking about the classroom experience. Is Cal Poly uh, competitive? What does it look like to be in the classroom? Or our grades on the bell curve? How competitive is the academic experience? So I want to let you know that there, Cal Poly, because of our hands-on curriculum, let me grab our brochure here. I want to show you something real quick. We're all about learn by doing here at Cal Poly. So learn by doing is going to take center stage. Learn by doing is all about hands-on curriculum, experiences inside and outside the classroom, where you're going to have that hands-on applied knowledge. A lot of our experiences from engineering to architecture to my degree, political science, are a lot of cooperative experiences. And the reason why is you can't learn the field of architecture unless you're rubbing elbows, 
next to a construction management student, also in the same College of Architecture and Environmental Design, learning about, okay, if I want to build this structure, or if I want to design this patio, what are the construction needs? What is our construction timeline? We got to be cooperative. And so the experiences at Cal Poly are incredibly cooperative. Learn by doing takes really, um, I think, a byproduct of learn by doing and effect of the experiences. And our motto here of learn by doing is that Cal Poly is cooperative. I never felt, I talk to students all the time. Even in my experience and students' experiences now, I never feel like I was at odds. Like, hey, let's say if I get sick and I miss um, a lecture or a lab, no one's out there going to be like, huh, not giving you notes. You're at a disadvantage. Never have I ever heard of that. Our Cal Poly students are there for each other. Um, our classes aren't really built so that uh, students are kind of at odds of each other. It's really a cooperative learning experience. And so much of that is so true, even when you get maybe as an older undergraduate student, because you're gonna have experiences uh, like senior project where you even, or maybe uh, if you wanna do our uh, hot house or our small business incubator program, where you have the opportunity to work collaboratively with other students. Our small business incubator program has been in uh, effect for like nine plus years. We've had over 200 companies start and um, things like passion footwear. If you've ever uh, worn a heel uh, and sometimes your heels are bugging you, you want to wear a flat passion footwear is a heel to a flat and flat to a heel. That was even featured at the Grammys. Uh, so that's a Cal Poly product. Uh, we, our graduates have been on Shark Tank. Our graduates have uh, started businesses right from here on Cal Poly's campus. So I just mentioned that like Cal Poly is a, a cooperative and collaborative experience. So I'm so glad that you asked that question. All right. What other questions do we got here? Oh, let's talk a little bit about the wait list. That's a good question. So how and when can I get off the wait list? So I haven't talked about wait lists yet. So I want to let you all know that if you've been placed on the wait list um, or will be placed on the wait list, uh, we're going to let you know of your final decision on if you've been accepted to Cal Poly by or on July 15th. And I know that's pretty late, uh, but if you've been accepted to Cal Poly or uh, if you've applied to Cal Poly and been placed on the wait list, we'll definitely let you know by July 15th. And if you are conditionally admitted at that point in the middle of July or by July 15th, I should say, uh, there's no impact on uh, orientation. There's no impact on your housing assignments. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we get you um, your preference and your housing experiences here. So we've already talked a little bit about housing. Housing is going to be required for our incoming students. Transfer students, do I have any transfer students? Let me know in the chat if I have any uh, um, transfer students watching here today. Transfer students, we're going to let you know of your decisions uh, like, like our undergrads by April 1st, but transfer students not required to live on campus. You have that opportunity to, uh, and we have some great on-campus housing for transfers, both in our traditional kind of dorm style as well as apartments. And then I should also let you know that our um, experiences here, we do have experiences uh, for transfer students to continue living on campus in our apartments. Uh, stoked to see some transfer students here. That's so good. Uh, transfer students, um, are like our, 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 our first year students are gonna hear back by April 1st. Um, but the wait list is gonna be similar for first year and transfer students. We're gonna let you know by July 15th. So, all right, let me, let me compose myself here. We've spent a number of um, minutes talking about housing, talked about orientation, talked about next steps. Um, uh, Anna, good question. Is housing determined by major? You can live with other students in the same college, but not required. Uh, check out a little bit more on our, actually, I'm going to plug our, our Cal Poly admissions um, YouTube page, uh, the Cal Poly admissions YouTube page. We're on Instagram. I think in our link tree, there's a link to our uh, YouTube uh, playlist. Uh, there's a lot more information about housing and so much more um, and any questions that you might have. Um, but uh, the different residential learning communities are interest-based. Uh, so let's say I want to live with students that are leadership. I want to live with other students that have the same identity as me. I want to live with other students from other colleges. So many opportunities. So 
All right, keep those questions coming. I got the question, what is your most impacted major? So I think we're talking about students that are thinking of applying in the future. It depends. Um, again, competition is major specific. So we're really now just talking about admitted student experiences, but I wanna let you all know um, that our, um, uh, the most competitive major is really up to you. The strength of the applicant pool uh, for each, uh, each major dictates how competitive uh, Cal Poly is. Are dorms the same gender only? No. So across our different learning communities, across all of our different learning communities, and I'm, I'm looking out at our different options right now. I wish I could show you and guide you around campus. Um, but all of our different learning, uh, our learning communities or our dorms are not the same gender. It depends. Um, some floors uh, uh, are um, like the same wing, um, might be all the same gender, or maybe uh, part of the hall. Uh, I should also let you know that we have gender affirming and gender um, fluid student housing as, as well. So depending on your gender, the identity, the, uh, the, the gender you identify with, we have different housing experiences as well. So uh, can your roommates only be the same identity? I think I just kind of talked a little bit about that, but I just want to let you know that um, uh, you can actually indicate Keep that on your housing application. Oh, that's something that I meant to talk about. When does the housing application and orientation application open? So I totally forgot to mention this. Oh, so housing application and orientation application are only going to be open um, after you've been conditionally admitted. So this is only for students that have already been that have already applied and they've been conditionally admitted. And then the housing and orientation application. It's going to open on October. Oh my goodness, not October, April 7th. April 7th is when we're going to let you know, uh, let you go into that housing and uh, or, orientation application. However, it is only accessible to students that have already said yes to Cal Poly. And in fact, you have to say yes to Cal Poly one to two business days before April 7th to be able to see it because after you say yes to us, it's not immediate for us to turn that over and see your orientation application or your housing application it takes one to two business days. Uh, so just want to give you that uh, just uh, a fun fact that if you want uh, to get into your housing application and orientation application uh, uh, early, uh, make sure you do that. Oh, this is a great question. The, um, when you accept your offer of admission, does that impact housing? I'm so glad you asked that, Maddie. It does not. Um, it absolutely does not. Um, so you can come to Cal Poly, um, accept Cal Poly now. You can accept Cal Poly on May 1st. That's the last day to say yes to Cal Poly. Uh, it does not accept, it uh, does not impact uh, your priority or your chance to get the housing community you want. And the list of all of our resident learning communities is on our housing website right now housing.calpoly.edu and it's also going to be on the housing application so um i'm getting questions about open house and tours i'm so glad you asked because i get to hang out with all those tour guides and i get to hang out with our amazing staff that's over open house open house is seventh is april 7th through the 9th that's a great time to come to cal poly we're going to be doing tours you can have a chance to meet your faculty you're going to meet other students that are in the same major as you uh, you're going to see all of our different clubs you're going to meet so many cool people and so many cool opportunities um, um and so april 7th through the 9th really the main two days for open house are that april 8th and april 9th that friday and saturday um friday being the main academic day saturday being a lot more on the clubs there's a parade there's a baseball game so much more um uh coming out to you on open house but if you can't make open house we're doing tours all the time um so this week is actually spring break for cal poly so we're not really doing tours this week uh but we will definitely be doing tours starting this coming monday monday the 28th and then all throughout april uh, we, um and so that's a great opportunity also some of you have might have heard of polycultural weekend polycultural weekend is april 1st through April 3rd. That's for students, um, uh, students of color that have been admitted to Cal Poly uh, that want to come experience uh, polycultural weekend. Uh, there's also going to be some tours right there. Uh, we're still releasing decisions. I know I'm getting a lot of questions about has Cal Poly released all of our decisions? Not yet. Um, no determination or pending or something like that. We're still going through all of our applications. Again, folks, we got 69,000 applications, so it's a lot for us to go through. So um, let's see. Do I choose my roommates? Oh, this is a good question. Let's go find that one. 
All right, this is a great question. Keep those questions coming. Folks, I'm gonna use that uh, question button down below. So if you're still here, got some questions for me, shoot that uh, question, that question button, or that little, that little blurb, that little talk bubble, and let me know what questions you have. So do we choose our dorm roommates or does Cal Poly choose that for us? So we do not have a roommate questionnaire that a lot of universities do like, ah, what time do I like to wake up in the morning? Um, what type of study environment do I want? Do I study with music on? Do I like, you know, am I tidy? Am I neat? Or am I clean? Or am I kind of just like, wow, you know, dirty housing experience? What do you like? Um, so we do not have a housing application questionnaire like that. Um, you're going to select the residential learning community that you wish to live in. So let's say you want to live with other students that are passionate about leadership, or you want to live with other students that identify as um, Asian American Pacific Islander, so API. All those different experiences, you'll select that hall during the summertime. Um, we're going to place you in those specific halls, then you get to select your room. But if you do want to find a roommate, uh, you can totally do that. You got to request them and they have to request you. So what does that mean? You have to have their number, um, not their phone number or anything like that, or their username, but it's this um, uh, number on your housing application. You're going to swap those numbers and you're going to put that on your housing application to request to live together. Oftentimes, um, this is not a Cal Poly thing, but a lot of our accepted students will use uh, Facebook and like the Facebook questionnaire for like the incoming class of 2020, I think 2026, I think you all are. Um, so you can use like that Facebook group to find uh, maybe students that have the same interests or backgrounds as you. Um, so that's a good question about how do I find roommates. Um, and honestly, the random roommate experience honestly we have so many students that really have a great experience with that so gl glad you asked those questions good questions y'all let's see oh my gosh i got so many questions from you all yeah all right if i got into the cal poly scholars program is that guaranteed for all years, uh, yes. So if you got in the Cal Poly Scholars Program, that is an awesome opportunity for Cal Poly students. Um, I'm glad, I'm happy to hear that. And that is a program um, that you can join, uh, or sorry, that is based off of your identity and background. So you've been selected into the Cal Poly Scholars Program. Uh, we can't take that away from you. You are a scholar. If you come to Cal Poly, that's a great program. Um, and that's um, a uh, awesome opportunity for you to uh, really actually get additional resources, additional advising support. There's even some uh, grants and some even some really cool financial aid uh, pieces to the Cal Poly Scholars. So I want to say congratulations if you've been admitted to the Scholars. I should also let you all know um, that um, we have some uh, uh, students uh, here soon. If you've been conditionally admitted, uh, you're, um, some, we're inviting a certain amount of students to apply to university honors. So university honors, okay? Um, so university honors is a great opportunity for, uh, here at Cal Poly. And uh, we're inviting students tonight by email uh, based off of your admissions profile, if you're able to apply for university honors. So you're not accepted in honors. If you get that email, you gotta uh, complete the honors application. So, uh, is there a sign up or registration form for open house? I can promise you that that's coming soon, okay? Uh, that's going to come soon, okay? So, we have not uh, launched our registration uh, website for open house, but I got to promise you that's coming soon. So, um, these are such good questions. I am just absolutely thrilled with all these questions that you all are asking me. Keep them coming. Yeah, so this is a good question. Um, let's see. Oh, I gotta. All right, I gotta do this. Did I? Oh, can transfers apply for honors? So that is a great question. If you are conditionally admitted um, uh, for as a transfer student, we're going to invite certain transfer students to apply for honors too. So you could totally be a transfer student and get into honors. Uh, great, great, great question. All right, folks, if you want to get your question answered, definitely use uh, that chat, the question bubble functionality. I'm definitely going to go over that um, for folks. I'm going to take Carson's question, I think, here. Uh, please go over the scholars program. So scholars program, I just talked a little bit about that. Cal Poly Scholars is for incoming first year and transfer students. 
students that have been accepted to Cal Poly, um, based off of your financial aid profile um, and the information on your Cal Poly application, we then uh, um, um, re reviewed your information and then based off of who you are and your uh, financial aid package and Cal Poly uh, application, we then admitted or placed you into the Cal Poly Scholars Program. It's an awesome opportunity for additional financial aid support, uh, additional advising support, um, so many, uh, oh, even housing, you get to live with other students that have the same experiences as you. Um, if you're admitted to the Cal Poly Scholars, there's even like a, some grants for technology specific opportunities. So, so I want you all to go to Cal Poly Scholars um, or, oh, I'm going to plug this again, folks. I've already talked about this Cal Poly YouTube channel. I love our admissions channel. So it's actually in the link tree. So go to our bio and then click the link tree. And then you're going to see Cal Poly YouTube. There's some great information on all things um, uh, Cal Poly Scholars. If you are a transfer student and you have questions about the transfer center, if you are a, I think I saw a student ask about our Cal Poly Psychology program. So freeze frame. Who says that? never said that word before. I'm so sorry. If you've been admitted to Cal Poly or you want to learn about specific majors here at Cal Poly folks, you can go to our YouTube channel and go like uh, Cal Poly psychology major. We have a whole playlist of all the different majors and all the different experiences um, of our 64 different programs. And you can actually hear Cal Poly students talking about their experiences for the majors. So, um, so good. Uh, when can the ministers? Ah, so um, congratulations. I see a, a transfer student that heard back from Cal Poly today. So uh, we're talking all things admitted students. So if you heard back from Cal Poly today, congratulations. If you've already heard back from Cal Poly, I want to say congratulations. Be one of the first people to say congrats to you. If you're still waiting to hear back from Cal Poly, we're going to make sure all of our decisions go out by April 1st. Um, and so uh, April 1st, um, and uh, you should be able to say yes on your Cal Poly portal. Um, and if it's not immediate, sometimes it's not immediate for students to say yes to Cal Poly. Uh, that's going to be coming in the next couple of days. And so um, let's see. Oh, this is a good question. Um, what's the process if we want a double major? Good question. So Cal Poly, double major, concentrations, minors, so many cool opportunities for you all. So double major, it depends, all right? Double major is really honestly up to the faculty when you get to Cal Poly. Uh, there's opportunities for Cal Poly students to pick up a double major. Oftentimes, what I often see is like a double major that's like with the theater major and um, the student that I'm thinking of is environmental management and protection. Environmental management and protection is under the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences and theater is under the theater arts is under the College of Arts. So that's a great opportunity for you to maybe double major. I've seen students pick up uh, additional minors. Minors are not required, folks here at Cal Poly, but oftentimes the double major is less popular than picking up additional minors. I know students that have three, four minors here at Cal Poly uh, by the time they graduate. So that's oftentimes more popular. Double major, minors, concentrations. I think somebody was asking me about business concentrations earlier today. Um, those are not necessary things you need to know about as an admitted student. You'll come to Cal Poly, start taking classes, and that's when minors, double majors, or even concentrations, not all majors have concentrations, means a focus of classes. So political science, my degree here at Cal Poly, I got to take seven classes, eight classes towards my major, uh, sorry, towards an emphasis under my major, and that was polit uh, American politics. So not all co majors have concentrations, but it is available. So... All right, I'm going. Um, oh, this is a good question. This could be one of my. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna have to take this question. I have an FFA event on the same day as open house. Am I missing a lot? No, you you don't have to come to open house. It's a great opportunity to really check out open house. I think open house is best for students that are still on the fence. If you're kind of like. Been conditionally admitted, but not really totally sure if Cal Poly is the right fit or not. 
that's really the best. That's that's her who open house is for. If you are, um, if you um, haven't heard back from Cal Poly uh, or on the wait list or think about applying in the future um, or already said yes to Cal Poly, you don't have to come. It's really designed for students that are really trying to figure out what their best uh, if they're if attending Cal Poly is the right fit or not. So we're going to start to wrap it up, folks. Here, um, all right. So let's see if we have any last questions. If you're just now joining me. We still are rolling out decisions um, and um, we're still letting students know of their decisions. I'm going to take this as one of our last questions. I love this. Um, oh, I just got the question. Um, do, you have, do you have to sign up for open house? Registration is going to come soon. OK, registration for open house. I promise you. We're gonna let you know of your uh, opportunity to register for open house soon. But I love Kylie's question, and this is gonna be one of the last questions I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take here. You. You're so welcome. You're so so welcome. Um, uh, all right. So I'm gonna take Kylie's question here. Can you describe what class schedules are like? All right, class schedules, folks. That's a great question. So we talked a little bit about this. Oh my gosh. You guys are asking so many good questions. I feel like, I don't know about you all, but I could be here hours. I mean, I could be talking to you all about all things Cal Poly for hours, but Kylie, let's take your question now. So, all right, coming into Cal Poly, you're gonna be uh, accepted into Cal Poly. You're gonna say yes to Cal Poly. And then by July 15th, we're gonna need AP scores. So we're talking about first year students. We're talking about high school students, okay? We're gonna need, um, we're going to need your AP scores. We're going to need your IB scores. We're going to need your high school transcripts. Transfer students. Uh, we're also going to need your college transcripts by July 15th. And if I went to two or three different community colleges, you got to send transcripts from all those schools. If I'm a high school student um, with uh, maybe transfer credit, make sure that uh, you got to do those as well. Uh, Carson, I just, I'm going to like tangential thought. Tours are happening uh, every weekday now through april 30th or may 1st the only i wouldn't come this week this is spring break here at cal poly so come any day monday the 28th and on okay for a tour um, um but um classes so we're going to use your ap scores and your college transcripts uh for high school students and transfer students and then we're going to evaluate those if you're a high school student we're going to block coming into cal poly as a first year we're going to block schedule you into classes. So in the month of August, you're going to get your class schedule. We're not going to start school until September 19th, but you're going to get your class schedule uh, by or middle, like by or on the middle of August. And you're going to get that class schedule. We're going to block schedule you in classes in your major, general education classes and major, maybe major support classes. Kylie, I am so glad you asked this question because Cal Poly is totally different than other universities. The reason why is our first year students and our transfer students are gonna take classes in their major day one here at Cal Poly. So I was a political science student. I came into Cal Poly from high school. I was in three political science classes my very first day I was a student here. So throughout my entire experience, I was taking classes in my major as well as major support classes my very first day here at Cal Poly. So class schedules, um, maybe you have Friday class, maybe you don't. Maybe you have class as early as seven in the morning. Maybe you have finished class at 10 p.m. So some of our classes are 50 minutes long. Some of our classes are two hours long. So it all depends. Um, so let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see what other questions we got. We don't really have an interior design major. Somebody asked me that. Um, we do have architecture, but that doesn't really have, has a little bit of interior design, but not really. Um, all right, so we're gonna close it out with this question. Yeah. Oh, we got, we're gonna do two questions. So Gabby asks, will there be an open house or tours of campus? Absolutely. Tours, definitely an awesome, um, definitely an awesome opportunity to come to campus. We're doing tours starting this coming Monday, 
March 28th. We're on spring break right now, so March 28th all the way through the end of April, every weekday. Open house, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, 9th that Saturday. We're also going to do tours. And then if you're here for Poly Cultural Weekend, that's an opportunity to come visit Cal Poly. Um, and it's really designed for a lot of our uh, students of color. Uh, that's going to be our, uh, there's also going to be tours there. So we're going to end it out with uh, talking a bit more about clubs and intramurals. So intramurals, we have, okay, we got three different, if you're all about sports or want to do sports, we got three different things, folks. So sports folk here at Cal Poly, um, I want to talk to you all about three things. We have NCAA Division I sports, so 21, 21 Division I sports here at Cal Poly. Uh, we have club sports, which are like 29 different club sports, from everything from competitive dance to, to fencing, to, so uh, to baseball, to men's volleyball, uh, to tennis club sports, so much more. Um, and so that's where you represent Cal Poly on, say, the club tennis team. Uh, one of our students that works here in the Welcome Center and gets to, uh, is the vice president of the club tennis team. And you still represent Cal Poly and you play other institutions on the club tennis uh, club programs. And then intramurals is that third level. And even under intramurals, we have three different levels. There's the, hey, I loved, I loved, loved, loved playing soccer in high school. I absolutely was passionate about soccer. Maybe I was on the soccer team, involved in my community playing soccer. And so I just want to play competitive soccer. That's like division one. And then division two is like, yeah, this is competitive. I'm interested, but like, I don't have to be playing with other varsity athletes. And then division three intramurals is like, what is a soccer ball? I've never seen a soccer ball. Not sure who hasn't, but what is soccer? Never played soccer. I'm just out here with my friends to have a good time. So that's how intramurals work. And then how do we join clubs? Uh, I don't know if we can see that right there. Yeah, it says we have over 300 different clubs, folks. We actually have over 400 different clubs now at Cal Poly. So we have everything from the Hummus Club. We have the uh, Society of Women Engineers. We have the Packaging Club, Robotics. Um, we have so many different club opportunities, and if Cal Poly doesn't have the club opportunity for you, we definitely have the opportunity for you to get Cal Poly money with your other students um, and definitely develop a club for you. Fun fact, our largest club here at Cal Poly uh, is the Entrepreneurship Club. Another student that works here on, on campus uh, in my office is part of the National Society of Black Engineers, and uh, she's actually going to go uh, to the national conference for uh, Society of Black Engineers uh, later this week down in um, Los Angeles. So there are so many different opportunities, uh, either your identity, culture, interest. Is there a chess club? I think so. I don't know. If you want to see, um, check out Cal Poly Now. Google Cal Poly Now, N-O-W. And then there's going to be a club listing of all the different clubs that we have. Cal Poly now, that's where you're going to see the list of clubs. I mean, we have a hummus club. I feel like we got everything. Um, so, uh, so many opportunities. So we're going to wrap it up here. Um, and I've spent uh, quite some time with you all here today. I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Uh, again, my name is Aaron Borgerson, and I want to be one of the first people uh, to say yes, uh, to congratulate you on, on acceptance. Oh, there is there is a chess club. All right, thank you. Really appreciate you all helping me out. Surf club, you bet, absolutely. Uh, when are we going to go live next? Uh, we're going to go live next Monday, uh, same time, same place. Uh, to talk a little bit more about Cal Poly. Uh, we're gonna talk about the first year experiences. What is it like to be a first year student as a transfer student or a first year student coming from high school? We're gonna talk more about those experiences here next Monday night, March 28th, 6 p.m. Be here. Uh, it is so good to hang with you all. I'm so honored that I get to spend uh, almost in the last hour with you all, all talking about Cal Poly, talk to admitted students, uh, to those students that have already applied but have yet to hear back. I promise you, we are doing everything in our power to get those decisions to you uh, very soon. So thank you so much. If you uh, did not get your questions answered tonight, um, DM us, um, DM me on the Cal Poly admissions here. 
uh, shoot us a DM. Um, we can definitely answer your questions there. Um, you can um, give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, you can even text us. Our text line is open. I don't think we're going to respond tonight, but we would definitely respond tomorrow. So uh, really appreciate you all. Good to hang with you all and uh, good, uh, have a great night. Cheers. Bye, y'all. Hey there, my name's Rafael. I'm a fourth year journalism transfer student with a minor in Spanish and my pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you for watching the video. Please share any questions or comments you have down below in the comment section. Click here to subscribe and to watch more videos, click here. If you want to sign up for a campus visit, we're offering in-person and virtual options. So check out our website. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.